Sean Randolph, and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Uh, firstly, Mick, after a lot of negativity around um, the Irish camp last week, how nice is it now? There seems to be a lot of positivity and smiles around even today in the press conference and everything. How happy are you to be back, and how long will it take you to accept the job? I'm delighted to be back, and I'm glad there's some smiles around the place. I hope it is a positive announcement that I've got the job back today, and uh, and the fact that Stephen Kenny's going to be taking it two years, and Robbie Keane's back, and you know to help. I hope it sends a positive vibe. But the reality is, we've got to win games. I haven't got a game until March. The draw's next Sunday. That's you know that's going to determine a lot of things, I guess, and how tough. It's not going to be easy. Whatever happens, it's going to be tough. March comes round, we'll have had no practice games, no nothing. So I've got to go away and watch all the games that we've had, watch the opposition that's coming up and try and get us prepared for March 2019. Absolutely. Um, during my time as a child, you, you brought some of the best days of my life as an Irish fan. I was actually a ball boy for the Holland game We when Jason McAteer scored. But do you, th- do you think you can bring those type of days back? Yes, I hope so. I, I was... I oversaw a bit of a well evolution certainly in terms of the team that I inherited was the team that Jack had and of course I had to change and if you remember and you will remember you know Gary Breen, Robbie Keane, Damien Duff, uh, Ian Hart, uh, Kevin Kilban, Matty Holland, Kinsler you know the, the, the team that then I I built from that and now it evolved I'm not going to get that amount of time because I'm doing it for these two years, but I'm still confident in my own ability that we can we can get results and hopefully we'll get a good draw. That's going to be... Hopefully we can have a good first game that we can get off to a good start. That's going to be important. There's a lot of hopefully going on, but, you know, we'll be working hard to make it happen. Absolutely. And you spoke about uh, Robbie Keane. Um, he was obviously vital to your time as manager and obviously as well as you brought a lot of glory days. How important will he be around the camp? He was obviously very influential in the Euros with Martin and, and Roy. Obviously, around he wasn't playing as much, but around the dressing room. Do you think he'll be, that's the kind of experience you need right now in the dressing room with yourself and Terry, of course? I think he's a great link. He's, he's one of the staff. He's, he's one of my assistants, but he's, you know, he's, he, that link into that dressing room, into players, they all know him. He knows them. He's played with them. I think he's bright, he's young, he's got fresh ideas. What is he, 37, I'm 59, I'm coming up 60. Not that I'm any, you know, dinosaur by any manner or means. I'm open to to new things. And I think he might be able to bring that to it. And he's learning his job. I think he'd be a real asset to me. And I think players that uh, are coming through or have been playing, he's a, he's a hero to them. He's a legend, you know. Uh, and maybe trying to get players to play for us, that will help as well. Absolutely. I just want to say, lastly, best luck in the job and thanks for your time. It's a pleasure, thank you.